Hello and welcome to Morning Afterglow. Glad that you're, you've joined us today as we reflect meaningfully in a brief period of time on Sunday morning sermon from Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 through 3. I've always loved this passage of Scripture. Uh, certainly it's it says some wonderful things, things that really are important for us to think about. But in terms of going through the book of Hebrews and walking through chapter 11, coming to chapter 12, verses 1 through 3 is a very, very special passage of Scripture. We're told there that in light of all that he has already said uh, about those who've gone before us, living a life of faith in God's redemptive promise uh, in the Old Testament, that it's now our turn uh, to live that life of faith. And you know, that's a really important idea, isn't it? Uh, that we accept the responsibility as God's people, as God's saved people, uh, to live out our faith in our generation during our moment in time uh, as we live our lives to do as they did and uh, just as they will uh, and, do, and do supply an encouragement to us and a challenge to us so we can provide an encouragement and a challenge to others who will come after us. We're told in Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 through, through 3 that in light of those witnesses we then should uh, run our race with endurance having put aside uh, encumbrances, obstacles, anything that would keep us from doing our best and the sin which really gets us off track, lay that stuff aside and run the race of faith in God's promise in Christ and redemption uh, with all that we've got. And as we do that, we look to Jesus, the one who started our faith, the author and the finisher of our faith, and, and being encouraged because Jesus suffered even though we might suffer, He suffered so that we won't lose heart and give up. Oh, that's really, really important. And I want to emphasize today with you, as we reflect on that passage, that it's our turn, it's our time to start living out the Christian life. And that's a daily necessity, isn't it? That's a daily calling that we have to live the Christian life. We don't do it perfectly. I don't, you don't, none of us do but we're called to live it nonetheless. And I pray today that as you and I think about that in our lives, that we'll plan uh, intentionally and purposefully uh, to, to live the Christian life, that we'll take those things that would hinder us and move it aside. Plan, plan to do that and fight against sin in our lives really well, really hard. Pray for grace. Uh, to do well in fighting against uh, sin and run with endurance. Keep on, keep on, keep on. I know you're tired. I know you get weary. I know you get discouraged. You know how I know that? I get that way in my life too. Um, but we've got to keep running, friend. We've got to keep going. And let's fix our eyes on Jesus, uh, who is our Savior and our Lord and our encourager. Uh, these things are a daily imperative in our lives. Something I want to say as I close today is as I talk to you every week, um, I'm praying for you as I hope you pray for me as well. Let's pray for each other that we will move forward together in our Christian lives and uh, let's encourage one another to do well. God bless you. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on Morning Afterglow. Mm -hmm.